Abandoned cities are some of the most dangerous places in the world. They are often full of debris, contaminants, and are structurally unsound. If you are thinking about exploring one of these abandoned cities, think again. Whether destroyed during conflict, abandoned for ammunition training, or discarded once nearby valuable metals and minerals became scarcer, here are some of the most fascinating abandoned settlements in the world. In this video, we have crunched the numbers to give you the top 10 abandoned cities you should not visit. But before we start, please first First, subscribe to Unimaginable and press the bell icon for more for more interesting videos. These villages, towns, and cities have been abandoned for many years. Their empty buildings, roads, and even cars have let nature take its course over the years. These cities are often dangerous and can be difficult to navigate. In addition, there may be environmental hazards such as radiation or toxic chemicals. Here is the list of the top 10 abandoned cities you should not visit. Number 10. Centralia, Pennsylvania. Carbon monoxide poisoning was a concern for residents of Centralia, Pennsylvania. Since 1962, the coal fire in Centralia, Pennsylvania has been roaring like something out of a nightmare, and it might burn for another 250 years. The local landfill was lit after an attempt to clean up the landfill of the town exposed the coal seams below the surface. Residents have fled their homes in the years since the fire as they fear not only for their lives, but also for carbon monoxide poisoning and sudden sinkholes. Most of the houses in Centralia were seized through domain, and the dozen or so people who remain agreed to surrender their property to the state when they died. In 1992, Pennsylvania Governor Bob Casey officially declared Centralia an abandoned town. Number 9. Bodie, California. Bodie was a mining town in California in the late 1800s that was packed with fortune hunters trying to profit from the California gold rush. For 17 years, it was a little mining camp populated by a diverse crowd. Winter temperatures were harsh, disease ran rampant, and industrial accidents killed many of its residents, and its high crime levels earned the town a reputation for lawlessness. In 1875, gold rush fever was at its height across California as people fled to the mines from San Francisco and other cities. The inhabitants dwindled to 30 by 1890 because of mineral companies going bankrupt and individuals seeking better prospects. Bodie grew up and was burned down again several times throughout the next few decades. But in 1940, Bodie was a ghost town. To transform it into a state historic park. The California State Park System took control of Bodie in 1962. Number 8. Whitnoom, Australia. Whitnoom was formed as a mining town in Western Australia in 1946. The nearby gorge was clogged with blue asbestos, an important raw construction material in the early 20th century. Whitnoom became the largest settlement in Pilbara region by the early 1950s. As a result of growing health concerns and decreasing demand for asbestos, the mine closed in 1966 with most of the residents moving away to locate new employment. Whitnoom was officially closed in 2007, and the Australian government began taking measures to limit access to the formerly mining town and remove it from all official maps. Asbestos fibers are still present in the soil and air around Whitnoom due to the mining that took place there, making it hazardous to spend too much time in the town. Only one citizen is believed to remain, according on a documentary released in December 2019. Number 7. Verosha, Cyprus, Famagista, a town in northern Cyprus that was known for its medieval walled harbor and the remains of an ancient city, has been abandoned for decades. Verosha, on the other hand, was formerly a popular tourist destination. It is unusual for a tourist destination frequented by Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, Raquel Welch, and Bridget Bardup to become a ghost town. However, this is precisely what occurred to Verosha in Famagusta, Cyprus during 1974 when Turkey invaded the island. According to BBC, Verosha of Famagusta was one of the most popular vacation destinations in the world throughout much of the early 1970s. The residents fled for their lives as Turkish and Greek armies battled around Verosha. Since 1974, Verosha has been under the control of the Turkish military. It has been fenced off and is only accessible to military and human personnel. There have been a number of efforts to negotiate a settlement that would allow Verosha to reopen, but no agreement has yet been reached. On the other side of the fence, nature is slowly reclaiming the high rises and beaches of Verosha while they are being taken back by force from the Turkish military. Number 6. 
Forkuta, Russia. Forkuta, Russia, was once a bustling coal mining metropolis. Forkuta, in Russia, was constructed as a gulag labor camp during the Stalin era. When coal output increased later on, people from across the country flocked to the Arctic region for high-paying jobs. As the city expanded, new towns and villages developed rapidly as workers arrived from all over Russia. However, when the Soviet Union fell apart in 1991, many of the mines shut down. People moved out when there were few employment options nearby, they left behind abandoned structures. Since that time, more than one million people have departed the Arctic zone. Today, there are still 50,000 persons living in Vorkuta, but the surrounding little villages have been abandoned. A few final residents remain in the village's flats. They cannot sell their houses, and many do not have enough cash to move. So they wait in temperatures of minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit for government assistance services to assist them. Number 5. Hashima Island, Japan. Hashima Island, Japan, was once a bus community. Hashima Island, colloquially known as Gunkinjima, also known as Nagasaki Abandoned Island, is an abandoned island off the coast of Nagasaki, Japan. Originally built in 1887 as a residence for those who worked in the underwater coal mines, Hashima Island soon grew into an island with high-rise concrete apartment buildings housing over 5,000 people. This island fortress had a clubhouse, theater, communal bath, swimming pool with views of the surrounding area and islands, rooftop gardens, business and even a pachinko parlor. Furthermore, a 14-year drought in which less than two inches rain fell every year also reduced the limited vegetation B bear survives on, designating the bear's last three habitats as one national preserve as well as tagging 20 adults to trap population are examples of conservation efforts. Number 7. Philippine Crocodile The Philippine Crocodile less well than the Kakapo. The species severely dispersed across Philippine Island's interior wetlands, with an estimated mature population of 92 to 107 individuals. This crocodile is smaller in size than its relatives, with a wild-caught specimen measuring under 9 feet long. Their major dietary sources as adults are fish, pigs, dog, and waterfowl. Philippine crocodiles can be found in a variety of habitats, including rivers, marshes, ponds. The eradication of rainforest region to produce rice fields is now the main In 1972, a flood made the situation worse, preventing a possible repopulation of the ancient heart. The ancient site of Krakow was entirely abandoned after the Irpinia quake. In 2007, members of the emigrants from Krakow founded the Krakow Society, an organization dedicated to preserving culture, customs, and history in Krakow. The ghost town is an authentic backdrop for movies such as Quantum of Solace and The Passion of the Christ. Despite being abandoned, Krakow remains one of most visited attractions of Italy, having been added to the World Monuments Fund list in 2010. Number 3. Pripyat, Ukraine. The most devastating nuclear power accident in history took place at Pripyat, Ukraine, a nuclear city built to house the staff of a nearby nuclear power plant. It had more than 13,000 flats, schools for 5,000 children, two dozen stores and restaurants, a cinema, sports hall, cultural center, many industries, and a hospital when disaster struck at the Chernobyl power plant. Following the detonation of the reactor on April 26, 1986, exposing dangerous radiation into the environment, the entire city was evacuated. The residents of Pripyat were relocated, and Slavidik was constructed as their new home. People have been permitted to return to the nuclear exclusion zone since radiation levels have plummeted considerably in years since the accident and the reactor has been sealed. Number 2. Ashgabat, Turkmenistan, the capital capital of Turkmenistan. Ashgabat is located in the Karakum Desert, which is among the most seismically active regions in the world. It is surrounded on all sides by barren desert except for a tiny strip along the foothills of the Kopet Dag Mountains to the south and the Karakum Desert to the north. Ahal province does not surround it. The highest point of the city is its 401-meter sandhill, on which stands the Yildiz Hotel, though most of it lies between 200 and 255 meters above sea level. The Karakum Canal runs through it. The soil in Ashgabat, like the rest of Turkmenistan, is composed mostly of sediment that settled on the bottom of the Paratethys Ocean. Toward the end of the Cretaceous period, the Kopet Dag Mountains formed. The city of Ashgabat, 
Turkmenistan, that is known for its marble buildings, is nicknamed the City of the Dead. Turkmenistan was formerly a Soviet Union country led by a dictator who has been compared to the Kim Jong of North Korea. UN President Saparmurat Niyazov intended to establish a golden era of Turkmenistan in 1991 by constructing Ashgabat. He accomplished this by building structures that broke records, such as being the largest marble city in the world. The city of Ashgabat is home to 543 structures made of the expensive materials. Material. The Ferris wheel in Ashgabat is also among the tallest Ferris wheels in the world. Because it appears to be abandoned, the city is now known as the City of the Dead. This is due, in part, to secluded cultural traditions of Turkmenistan. It is one of the least visited countries on Earth. Number 1. Ruby, Arizona Ruby, Arizona is a reminder of the Wild West that remains standing as one of the best-preserved ghost towns in the United States. When it established the first post office in 1910, Ruby became a town of Officially after being founded on a mine that produced gold, silver, lead, zinc, and copper. Ruby holds an attraction for history buffs and nature enthusiasts alike because it boasts a rich history. According to Legends of America, one of the largest manhunts in Southwest history resulted from these events. Of the crime, the judge at the time, Judge Dulier O'Connor reportedly said, the crimes of which you have been convicted are perhaps the cruelest ever committed in Arizona. Let the punishment that awaits you serve as a warning to others who may contemplate the commission of similar crimes. Number 3. Cross River Gorilla The Cross River Gorilla is a crit endangered subspecies of the Western Gorilla. It was designated as a nuisance in 1904 by Paul Matschi, a zoological taxonomist working at the Humboldt City Zoological Museum in Berlin, but its populations were not adequately studied until 1987. It is the western and most gorilla variety, which lives wooded mountains at the headwaters of the Cross